some people will say na, I'll still dress sexily for church because it's not my responsibility to dress modestly for them. They should right. change their mindset. Mm. And some people will say, I don't think that I should be dressing sexily for the beach because it's their responsibility. You know, something mm, like yeah, that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you guys think? I know it's such a complicated question, Gosh. right? Welcome to Adulting with Joyce Spring. Watch the full video of this episode on my channel, www.youtube.com slash TV. And if you want to level up your adulting game, check out joyspring.com slash collections for my digital products and courses. Do you think, as women, that it is our responsibility to dress sexily or modestly depending on the situation? Or... Is that the responsibility of whoever's looking? Gosh. Again? I don't, Who, you, of whoever's looking? Yeah, whoever's gonna see us. Um. Like, because some, okay, oh, in context, like what you were saying, some people will say, na, I'll still dress sexily for church because it's not my responsibility to dress modestly for them. They should right. change their mindset. Mm. And some people will say, I don't think that I should be dressing sexily for the beach because it's their responsibility. You know, something mm, like yeah, that. Yeah. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what do you guys think? I know it's such a complicated question, Gosh. right? Yeah. Madami siyang, ano, madami siyang shades like you and can degrees. Bo- you can go both ways. Mm-hmm. You can talaga. Because like, you know, like the woman in the church, she, I really believe na, lalo na when they got to know her, she really thought that it was okay. Yeah. She really didn't wake up that day and say, I'm gonna offend this church. I'm gonna wear my lowest cut right, blouse. Right, yeah. Eh, feeling niya kasi long sleeves naman. Naka-pants yeah. naman ako. Usually, yeah. I'm in a mini skirt. I don't, yeah. I'm just assuming that's what she was thinking that day. But, yun. Parang, I don't believe most people or most women would wake up one day and say, I'm gonna dress to offend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? That's a good, I mean, I, yeah. I, I don't think people wake up in the morning and say that. So, But mm-hmm. if you do… <laughs> <laughs> but if you do, yeah, that, that's your thing. You probably have a reason. I think actually people who do Out for blood. Yeah. <laughs> if, when people do have that mindset, I'm gonna dress because I don't care if I offend anybody. I think those people can also take the heat. Mm, I yeah. think uh, yeah. they're strong enough to take the heat. They're not gonna unless. Medyo ano ka na, medyo off na yun if you're gonna be that offensive and then you're gonna crumble <laughs> then mm. or you're gonna cry. Pero, yo, and I, I believe that people who are very edgy and that they have that kind of attitude, they can Mm-mm. also take it. Yeah. If they're judged. Yeah. For me, I think it's the response. If you are a guest, it's your responsibility. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's nice. Right? Mm. Like, that's a good perspective. Diba? Because you're a guest, it's not your place. Like, I'm not gonna tell you how to dress in your home. But if I'm going to yours, I need to follow the way you would want your home to to be. Mm, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so like, I if it's no shoes in my house and you don't take your shoes off, right? Then what are you doing? Right? Yeah, right? That's correct, walking correct. all over my space. Correct. So that's how I feel about like schools or or things like like it's like it's a public place, but it's still like a private sort mm. of you know. But if it's a park, just like. I don't know. I guess it really just goes back to how comfortable people are with their bodies. Because like one of the bigger things that I see trigger um, the people who see con- my content is that they get so jarred by the female body. Right. Not just the human body. It's the female body. Because so many parts of us have been sexualized. But also we live in a hypersexualized culture. That's yeah. why. That's yeah, why. Man. Yeah. So... I think a big a big thing that I want people to remember also is um, it can be sexual, but it's not just. Mm. For example, you're a mom. Yeah, my boobs are used to be sexual. Now it's just milk. <laughs> I mean, do not touch me anywhere near here. I will slap you across the face. <laughs> was my motto when I gave birth to my son. Yeah, so I, I get what you're saying. And the thing is, there are so many people who don't like that there are mothers who breastfeed in public. Oh my gosh. Mm. that ha- Okay, can I just say, to your point… Before I became a mom, okay. I found it so weird mm. when my best friend would breastfeed right in front of me. Like, girl, I can see your nipples. <laughs> but when I became a mom, I was just like, ah, kasi 
it's just so comfortable. Yeah. Your kid will try to pull the blanket anyway over their head. It's oh. like they're suffocating. It's hot inside. Yeah. And then you're covering your baby. So they're just having a hard time. So I'll just pull it out and then let him feed. Yeah. But you don't really know that unless you experience you it. You experience it. Yeah. yeah. I've never experienced it for myself. But like I... I've I think I've also always been very comfortable because with my body, eh. mm-hmm. so it's something that I've I like to see in art. Right. You know the right. the the female shape specifically. Well, guys also, but like guys walk around shirtless all the time. <laughs> yeah, so it's not like, an issue for them. Okay, I really like what you. I mean, what you said about it's a bit off topic, ah, but I think it still goes with modesty. You breastfeeding now, you just. Without, because usually there's a cover. Mm-hmm. Usually the people that I hang on, out with, when they do breastfeed, they always have this cover, even if they're at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, for you, I mean, it's a nice perspective to hear. Na parang ah okay, minsan hindi naman lahat komportable na may cover. Yeah, ano pa yeah. na lang. Yeah. yeah. Pero I like what we've been talking about because. When I'm in the Philippines, hmm. I will try to cover as much as I can right. or try to like turn away or Mm-mm. face the wall because I know na mas conservative or right. weirded out yung mga Pinoy's about yeah. it. But when yeah. I, when we were traveling through Europe and we had like a 10-month-old, I was just like breastfeeding anywhere and exactly. nobody really nobody cared. Cares. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like Absolutely. modesty and, and sexiness or whatever, it's… It's all within the context of culture. Right. Yeah. So to what you were saying, you know, it really depends on where you are. Because if you're in a country we're in, like for example, if I'm in the Middle East, of course I'm going to cover up. Oh, yeah. Because it's a very conservative (laughs) place to be in and you're the guest. Yes. Right. Yes. But here in the Philippines and, and here in the Philippines as well. But when I was in Europe… Like, I knew that the culture there was, you know, you can breastfeed anywhere. And women were breastfeeding. Yeah, they're they don't Tapos care. Beaches, things like that. Right? Beaches diba? yeah. and things like that. So, yeah, I, I completely agree with what you guys say. That's it for this episode of Adulting with Joy Spring. If you liked this podcast, please don't forget to use the hashtag Adulting with Joy Spring and also check out www.joyspring.com for the show notes and tag me on social media, whether you know it, at Joy Spring. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Paalam!